Hello YouTube, this is Lobo with the Stray Dog Mining Crew. I'm doing a video on locating arroyos, or washes as they're often called, is what I call them as a wash. And basically that's a seasonal creek bed or a river bed. And why they're important uh, if you're prospecting for minerals or for artifacts, uh, is whenever the region floods, it's going to wash down materials from that area to these arroyos, these washes, and it's going to follow the water. So when you come across a wash, uh, you basically sample that area, look to see what kind of minerals or artifacts are present, and if they look interesting to you, then you can start walking up this wash. And the point of this is to try to find the source of where this originally washed from. So let's say if you're looking for, currently I'm currently looking for garnets, there's garnets in the area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the pieces of garnets that may be in this wash, and if I find them, I'm going to continue walking up this wash and uh, with the science of it, uh, theoretically, the pieces should get bigger as I get closer to the source or the load of it. Uh, in the case of artifacts, if I were to find uh, uh, an arrowhead or a spear point, something that's light, uh, I would in turn follow that up until I could possibly uh, locate where these were coming from, uh, an ancient village or, or uh, uh, an arrow stash or whatever you want. Uh, so these things are very important in prospecting, these washes are. Um, and the best way to locate these, I found, is using uh, Google Earth in combination with topographical maps as provided by uh, the U.S. Geological Survey. So I'm going to click over here to Google Earth and bring it up. And what we're looking at here is this is uh, close to where we're staying at. This is a section of Grape Creek. Uh, it is on public lands. Uh, it doesn't. There's no motorized uh, vehicles allowed in there, and uh, so this is basically by foot or bicycle. And this is a six-mile stretch that we're looking at here. And with this, um, we initially uh, last weekend uh, we came up a third of a mile, way half mile, and in this location, and we found uh, gemstones and uh, artifacts. Uh, for example, here. Uh, the furthest up the, the uh, creek we got, this is uh, Grape Creek as we located garnets. And uh, the pieces were getting larger, so there are bigger pieces that are in there. And uh, so what I want to do is continue traveling up this creek to see where the source of the garnets are. So as we're traveling up this creek, what uh, a source that I can use is I'm trying to determine are the garnets coming from this location here, here, here. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to continue sampling up this creek to make sure there's still garnets and hopefully they are getting bigger. And when I come across any washes within these washes, I'm going to sample at that location to see. And so what I've done is I've painted some of these washes. And as I add these in, I did them as yellow streaks that are coming into it. So we have a wash that comes in here to the creek and so as I'm coming up the creek I'm gonna pull off a little bit see where the wash is right there and so I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna look in this area here to see if there's any uh, uh, garnets uh, or artifacts there and if there are I may continue to go up that location uh, go up that spot if I don't want to go up there at that time if I'm not really impressed but I did find something then I'm going to use my GPS and I'm going to mark that location and take notes on it and then come back here and, and populate Google Earth with that information. And so what I've done is I basically have worked up the creek trying to find these washes. And there's one right there. And we got a nice one here. And how I'm locating these is I'm using an overlay provided by uh, the geological survey. Let me pan out a little bit so we can get an idea of what we have here. And you can see it's from the creeks where the mountains are up here. We have the YMCA mountain and you can see as the snow melts off there or heavy rain comes through that the water that's on these peaks is going to go into these uh, arroyos, these washes, and you're going to have a running stream at that point. Uh, these are most of these, I believe, are seasonal streams. They're probably dry right now, um, and so that's where these come from. How I locate these is over here. I have the Earth Point Topo map provided by the USGS. I turn that on, and you have to be online because it's going to paint a picture. That's going to go out and grab the map for this location, so you can get an idea of what's going on there. And you can see there are blue lines that come down, and I simply painted over those with a yellow line. So we're going to zoom in here and come to this section. I'm going to 
paint a couple more right quick to show you how I'm doing this. Alright, so as you can see right here, this is the topographical map. Uh, we have the creek that comes down and then we have a blue line that comes off the shows. There's a feeder creek here. Uh, there's a wash here. So I'm going to come up and oh I didn't well this is a, a new path the buttons are up above I'm sorry I didn't didn't uh, include that in the screenshot so this is a wash I believe it's wash number nine I'm gonna make sure that the color is gold it's too wide and now I'm just gonna simply click and come up and click OK and then when I turn off the topographical map, you can see that I've located another wash. And so as I'm making my way up this, this way here, I'm going to cross over and I'm going to prospect in that area to see if there's anything, any minerals. And you can see actually there's where the wash is. And so that'd be an excellent way by checking out this little section right here just by sampling that what that does is that tells me everything that is washed down from this area here so instead of having to crawl up and to go up the side of the sill and, and look in all these locations I can get an idea of what's there by simply prospecting at that spot and that's why uh, locating washes are important and so that's what we're going to be doing uh, the next couple of days we're expecting a cold front we're going from highs in the 60s down to lows in the teens uh, in the next couple of days and then once again we're shooting back up into the 50s and 60s and uh that's colorado for you if you don't like the weather hang out for a couple of minutes and it certainly will change but anyway so that's how you locate washes using google earth and you can go over to the usgs and you can pick this up over there um, the earth point top on map or search against it. It's an overlay. It doesn't take up a lot of computer space because what it does is it uses an internet connection again to, to pull the maps down and paint them into Google Earth. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me a PM uh, or put them in the comments below and I can answer them or I can walk you through this process because it's a really neat way to, uh, to, to search for these areas uh, because really along these six miles there's nine points that all I have to do is prospect these nine different points and it will tell me what is going on in this greater area in Temple Canyon. So anyway, peace, love, God bless, and you all take care.